Hey YouTube, it's me, Empress E, and I am back with another one. Um, It was some messages that I forgot to add to the first message, and it's just these angel numbers that I'm going to add to this message. I wrote it down on a little piece of paper, and I got so wrapped up in the message that I forgot, and I didn't see it. So, because I pre-shuffled the cards, and... um. Hell, I was just as curious as y'all to see what the messages was in the cards that I pre-shuffled. So, I'm going to go ahead and do another reading to get those messages out. And the other message that I was supposed to put out the other day that I didn't. So, um, give y'all some of that too. Let me do the Palacento too. <laughs> But uh, just to get the other uh, intuitive messages out and channel messages out, because I've been feeling this AA portal for the past two weeks. I've been feeling a lot of energy, and I've been getting a lot of downloads, and I've been getting a lot of intuitive messages, some of which I've been sharing, some of which I've been keeping to myself because, you know, I'm not sure, like, what to share with y'all and what messages are for me. Give y'all some of this palisetto. <laughs> but I ask spirit. I'm like, you know, this AA portal. I love thunder and rain. I absolutely love the rain. I love the thunder. So I'm like, you know what? Bring that thunder and rain to me as a confirmation for this AA portal, for this good energy for these next 10 years. So... Maybe about 30 minutes ago, I'm hearing thunder and rain. I'm looking outside and look wet. I'm like, oh, spirit. <laughs> okay, you gave me this confirmation. I'm going to do this right now. And when I thought I let my dog in, right, my dog actually liked the rain. He done made the old mud trail on the side of my uh, fence where he liked to run back and forward and communicate with the dog next door. So I'm calling him in out the rain, and he looking at me like, bitch, I'm about to go run in this mud and have me a good old fucking time in this rain, so uh, you go ahead and shut the door. And I'm calling him in like, get your ass in this fucking house. I mop my clothes. You ain't finna track no mud across my clothes, but I guess I'm finna be mopping, so... It is what it is, because he running around in the mud having a good old time in the rain. So, I just wanted to let you guys know the symbolic meaning of rain and thunder and why I'm so excited, <laughs> you know, because I'm like weird like that. And I like shit, astrology, I like fucking nature, and I feel like it, it all give us signs, you know what I'm saying? And people need to just pay attention to these signs and, and look into them and, you know, gain some insight for yourself. You know, just not just listening to what tarot readers and people is telling you to actually Google the information yourself or go to the library and pick up a book or find information. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be like when I always say something to somebody and they just look at me kind of strange, I be like, look it up, you know, because I ain't going to tell you nothing. I ain't looked up myself. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't finna pull no shit out of my ass, just real talk, because I don't like people lying and telling me any old thing. So I'm not finna just tell my collective any old thing, because we, each one teach one. We on this motherfucker to help each other. We on here to uplift each other. You know what I'm saying? And build each other up. I don't think I'm no better than nobody. We all, work, we all walking side by side on this channel. You know what I'm saying? We all uplifting each other. That's what this channel is about. It's about informing and uplifting information and uplifting you know what i'm saying i ain't finna never be on no dog and motherfuckers out type of energy but i am gonna throw out that same energy that you throw at me so if you throw a negative energy my way i'm gonna reverse that shit back to you point blank in the period i used to be in that uh turn the other cheek maybe a couple of years ago <laughs> but now nah, bitch i'm turning that ass on your ass so just now. But I'm going to start with the thunder. The, the thunder is symbolic of illumination and destruction of ignorance. I'm going to repeat that. 
Thunder is symbolic of illumination and destruction of ignorance. And that's what this whole age Aquarius is about, baby. Last gonna be first, and the first shall be last. The motherfuckers that got it the crooked way, okay? So, all that spell work and witchcraft, reversed. All them negative projections, not effective, null and void, okay? All these fake people, family, friends, and shit, Frenemies, they being exposed. That shit being illuminated. Um, the rain is symbolic of rebirth, determination, cleansing, calmness, growth, fertility. It's the breaking of drought, okay? And a purge for and a pause for introspection. And it's also a purging of the emotions. So maybe it's a lot of people in their emotions. That's fine. Purge that shit. Sit with them feelings. And that way you're going to move forward and you're going to sin. Because it was a reason why I said purge. But let me, re let me recap this message about what this rain is symbolic of. Breaking drought. That's the more, most important thing y'all need to remember. Okay, Pisces? Okay, collective? Okay, anybody that see this fucking message? Breaking drought. Coming through this AA portal. And it's a pause for introspection. To see all this destructive ignorance. To illuminate this shit. So a lot of people is getting enlightened. A lot of people see seeing motherfuckers for who they really is. And a lot of people mask are fighting, falling off. You know, people, they getting that inner alignment. They got that self-love and appreciation. Having empathy for themselves and others. Okay? And this AA portal is the Leo. And, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> okay, I'm talking too quick. Let me slow down. This AA portal is coming in Leo cities. Okay? And Leo energy is all about self-expression and confidence. Okay? And they have faith and favor in whatever goals that they set for themselves. It's a bright and powerful energy that demonstrates praise, respect, and it's respect for its world nature of being a lion at the top of the food chain. Like I said in the beginning, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. So Pisces, y'all get ready. This Leo season finna be lit, god damn it. You been doing that motherfucking shot of work, you finna be at the top of the food chain. Real talk. Okay, in the last year AA portal, and this was last year, like when I was coming into everything and I was having them inklings to do the tarot card readings and I was going back and forth with myself about that, but I was still doing what I needed to do. You know, I was still working on my motherfucking uh, gifts and I was still working on my life purpose and doing what I needed to do, but that AA portal, AA20 it added up to 18, which means a lot of desirables attributes. It's the essence of that leadership, efficiency, philanthropy. 18 is a powerful blend of self-mastery, competence, adaptability, resourcefulness, and the inner generosity, okay? And then that 18 portal, which was reduced to a 9, it just represents completion and its transformations. Understanding a service and accomplishments. Like, I had a whole lot of endings and I went through a transformation, baby. And I accomplished a lot. A lot. You know what I'm saying? And then with the messages that I was supposed to went through this morning with the 818, is nearing the end of a significant and important phase of your life. Suggest that you think only positive thoughts of abundance and prosperity. Your thoughts are manifested very quickly at the moment. And you want to keep them positive rather than negative. And I got that when my mind was drifting off to bullshit. And some told me to look at the clock and it was 818. And I'm like, okay, that's significant. Then I looked at my uh, watch, it was 818. Then I looked at the phone, it, it hasn't been 818 for about three minutes. And Spirit was like, read what that is. And I read what it is, and that was what it was. And then 919 came up, not even an hour later. And I'm like, what? 
But the day before, I was getting 414. And I'm going to tell y'all what 414 is. And it brought up memories of when I stayed in Wisconsin. And this was like a lot of childhood memories, too. So that illumination, that shit is real. But I'm going to tell y'all what this 919 is. Because I don't want to go too long into this, uh, this, this intuitive message. But... Now one night is a stage in your life is about to come to an end. Bringing the message that you should look forward to fresh starts, especially when a problem in your personal life affects your whole life in general. Okay? And the problem in my personal life was my fuckers throwing witchcraft my way. Trying to create blocks. And of course, that's going to affect my whole life in general. So... Right now with this AA portal, I'm looking forward to these fresh starts. And all today, that's all I've been saying is 444, protection, grounded, manifestation, 44, prayers have been heard, the abundance you seek is on its way, 888, balance, flow, and abundance, 88, a period of abundance and good fortune, anything you set your mind to will be successful, financial stability will be coming soon. Then I was seeing 2222, two, two, two. that's incredible harmony. And then let me take y'all back to this 414 message before I start pulling these cards. And that 414 is telling you that angels are there to give you motivation, support, strength. It is time to use your creative energy to do something good for the world because you will be rewarded. So just know that energy that you put out is that energy that you're going to get back. Doing this AA portal. And if you put out some bullshit and was out there gang stalking motherfuckers, spreading lies, rumors, and shit like that, just know somebody is finna do that same shit to your name. Or you finna get dragged through the mud. You was wishing on somebody else's downfall, hoping that they finances get depleted and shit like that. Just know you finna be a broke motherfucker. It is what it was. <laughs> So let me get into this message because um this hope everything is just lining up. These messages has been lining up and this energy has been strong. I ain't even know if I I don't even know if I want to start with it. Let's start with this. Let's get some soul journey uh messages. Woo! Out here. The fuck did I say? Death. I am learning that endings are merely a beginning. Okay? Endings are merely beginnings. That's that nine energy. Them completions. That transformation success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. What? It's a death to all that other bullshit. 8818 is near the end of a significant and important phase in your life. Suggests that you think only positive thoughts of abundance and prosperity. Your thoughts are manifesting quickly at whew, the moment. Quickly at the moment. And you want to keep them positive rather than negative. I'm getting excited, okay? Because these messages are lining up. It's a death to that lock mentality, okay? Success is coming in. If you didn't know it, then now you know it now. And you're going to be laughing at motherfuckers, okay? Doubt. I released the need to know all the answers. I actually thought this was humor. Because humor is a green too. But this is doubt. Releasing the need to know all the answers and just ending shit that need to be ended. And going toward these new beginnings of success. And if you in doubt, stop doubting. Because the signs are, 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 signs are everywhere, okay? Trust. I don't know who that's for, but just trust. I had to shuffle these cards out. I'm shuffling them out just a little bit more. See what we get. With this message. I should I should have did the blind shuffle. Justice has been served. What did I tell you? The scales is balanced. This is justice all day long.
This is the Knight of Swords energy. I feel like you running towards your abundance. This is the seven. Whoop, wait a minute. Hold on. Justice has been served and this got some motherfuckers running. Because they in this seven of swords energy. Hold on one minute because we got this eight of swords. So these motherfuckers that had you feeling bound. This is an illusion. These motherfuckers running from these birds now. They sick these motherfucking birds on your ass to have you all tied up. And you done woke the fuck up from out that shit and realized this shit was an illusion. And you done seen the fuckery and the foolery. And if not, this is just telling you don't doubt the fuckery and foolery. Okay? Just as it's been served and these motherfuckers gonna be on the run for the sneaky shit that they done done. Fuck you mean somebody could be going to jail, running from the law, or gonna be running from the law. Okay, in this new beginning. Ooh, and my nose itching. Oh, with my nose itching, these messages be on point. This king cups. Motherfucking water saying. Ha! This four cups. This motherfucker looking at the past. Looking crazy. All up in they motherfucking heads. Because they see you beating, beating your, be, dancing to your own rhythm. They see this motherfucker fight. They see this passion. This night of wands energy. They see you motherfucking going on a new adventure towards your success. Okay. And this motherfucker sitting in his feelings reminiscing. Give me some more cards on this. I want to know about this Knight of Swords. And this Seven of Swords ten energy. Cause this motherfucker wanna come in fast on some sneaky shit. Ain't 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 saying shit. You know what I'm saying? His 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 motherfucking both and sailed the fuck off and left him, and now he feeling apathetic and looking stupid. Cause he didn't take the cup that was offered to his ass. He wanted the motherfucking three cups on the side, wanted his cake to eat it too, but now he looking crazy as fuck. Cause that rainbow was in that motherfucking cup. That rainbow was in that motherfucking cup that he wasn't paying attention to. Motherfucker wasn't even looking at that cup. Hmm. Motherfucker slap on some bullshit. Slap. You done chose yourself. You done unbound yourself from that situation, baby. Looking out at the fuck through you. Moving forward in this chariot, being victorious on this new adventure. Okay. Now this motherfucker want to come in with this cup. In this new cycle. Messages is going to be sent about how this motherfucker can gain some enlightenment on how you the fucking empress. How they see you as the empress. Or they didn't gain some enlightenment on they motherfucking baby mama, baby daddy, this third party shit that was, uh, motherfuckers was on sneaky and deceptive shit. Here, let me show y'all this. Okay. This motherfucker done gained some enlightenment. They in Herman mode. Could have been dibbling and dabbling or whatever. Other laws go get involved in this situation. Because I feel like the law is going to get involved in some shit with this baby mama. And this third party situation, there's two other people involved in this. So it's another female involved in this. And in my last reading, the last two readings I did, not this one, but the one before that, that night that dream I had. I said a motherfucker and they, and they bitch was on some bullshit. Bam, three of cups in the moon. This deceptive ass energy all day long. 
But what you got? The Ace of Pentacles coming out. The universe offering you this Ace of Pentacles. Like, you know what? There you go for your troubles. And this Ace of Cups. Overflowing love. Because you had an inner knowing of what the fuck was going on. Because you the high priestess. Fuck you mean. Let's get into some good shit, cause I'm 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 sick of the same storyline. It's time for some fresh energy, real talk. I don't want to hear about no motherfucker that realized they done made a mistake. That's your business, motherfucker. You should've motherfucker been had your eyes open and not listening to bullshit and trying to people please and follow. You should've been doing your own spiritual work. Instead of looking at my my shit or looking at the next person's shit. Woo! My nose itch. Material harvest all day long. Like I said, it's a death to that lack. That lack mentality. And it's a death to drought. It's an end to that shit. Motherfuckers is triumphant and successful. Why? Because we speaking our truth. The, t the sword represents the tongue. Okay? One is the number of a new beginning. One is the number of enlightenment. One is also the number of uh, intuition, leadership, self-courage, willpower. Okay? Why? Because you no longer trapped in fear from the bullshit that they was trying to throw on you. You stood your motherfucking ground. And if you have it, you need to stand your fucking ground. And I'm going to read this shit coming like this because we got 88 in here. Okay? It's going to be positive movement forward all day long. In accelerated motion. A A A. Balance, abundance, and flow. All day long. For this firm foundation. This foundation and achievement. And here we go. I'm going to read this shit backwards. Just so you can get it. You're going to have this firm foundation and achievement. This shit is coming in accelerated motion. Hey. I just read off 88 to y'all. A period of abundance and good fortune. Anything you set your mind to will be successful. Financial stability will be coming in soon. Shit gonna be removing in accelerated motion. And this gonna be positive movement forward. Okay? And we got 7 and 8 and 9. These numbers lining up. Stay your fucking ground. Don't be trapped in fear. Your material harvest is coming. Seven, eight, nine. So whatever it is you want to do, get your ass up and do it. Get your ass up and do it. It's going to bring in material harvest. Triumph and success. Open your heart to these partnerships and alliances because they're going to create a firm foundation. And we got 434. Four, and we got 40. Four, four, four. Protection, grounded, manifestation. 44. The prayers that you have have been heard. Okay? All day long. All day long. And I don't even know why I'm slamming the cards down like that. Because somebody needs to hear this. And somebody needs to understand. Okay? You manifesting. This is the magi magician in the mirror. Oh, my nose is... My nose is itching so bad. It's turning red. This uh, Karen connection is coming in. You probably manifesting this Karen connection. Okay? Oh, we got somebody manifesting this Karen connection. This person is probably all tied up at the moment, but the door to spirit has opened. And I feel like this is not us, Pisces. We manifesting our abundance and success. This person is manifesting this connection and the door to spirit that opened. But look what's at the bottom of the deck, y'all. Deceit. Why? Because we triumphing and success. And this motherfucker want to come in and create this energy. Look at this.
But wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is what was at the bottom of the deck. This motherfucker is deceitful because they jealous of your triumph and your success. So they want to come in and bound you to some shit, some two of swords energy. Behold the motherfucker found up right here. The angel of love is like hell motherfucking now. Okay? It's going to be partnerships, loving partnerships and alliances in this new cycle. Because we didn't heal from this shit. We done healed from this shit in this new cycle. That shit the end it's a new start, okay? New partnerships and alliances. Angel of love, okay? Motherfuckers moving different. Motherfuckers attracting different energy. Not that deceitful shit, because it's going to be blossoming abundance for us. The door to spirit that open. They see us manifest. We manifest in a caring connection, but they want to come in and have us all tied up. But the door to spirit like, no, 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 no. Not for you. You block, bitch. You block. This door to spirit that opened this blossom in abundance, they opened up because we motherfucking grounded within ourselves. okay? The door to value is open as well. Ooh, my nose itching because we took this motherfucking journey alone. Following spirit. Okay? And she holding that light behind us. Fuck you mean? We following the light ahead of us and we got motherfucking protection. They got our motherfucking back. Fuck you mean? But all this deceit. Stay the fuck where you at with that shit. Real talk. Trust. Don't doubt. Trust. Okay? Trust in this transformation and keep thriving. Woo! My nose is itching. I hate, I, I don't like when my nose be itching like this, but when my nose be itching like this and I give somebody a message, I do a message that shit be on point. On point. So, it's like, I don't know, I don't like it, but then I'm I'm good with it, you know, right now with this message. For real, for real. Because we gonna be happy, happy. Why? Because this shit is faded. Fuck you, man. And everybody that's laughing, questioning why we doing what the fuck we doing, keep watching. You gonna see. Cause it's a motherfuckers out, this motherfuckers out here calling us crazy right now. Oh, that bitch sure went crazy. Okay. Crazy and know all your shit. All your shit. Love and let yourself be loved. This is the heart guardian. Like I said, aside from all this deceit, motherfuckers want to come in with deceit. You love and let yourself be loved. That energy of love is coming in. Unleash the wild within. And I feel like this is something we've already done and we've been moved in a new direction. This is the traveler. A lot of us might be moving away from motherfuckers, physically moving away from motherfuckers. A lot of us that moved our energy away from motherfuckers and we stood our ground. And if you haven't, stay your damn ground. Okay? And dream and journey. Real talk. And protect your shield. Drop your shield. Protect your guardian. You protect it. Drop. Your shield. This is the heart chakra. Open your heart up and love and let yourself be loved and unlock this magic within, okay? Because it's time for you to retreat and recharge and follow the voice of your ancestors. Follow the voice of your soul. Okay? Let me get a couple more before I end this. I didn't even think this was going to be this long. Oh, I hate when my nose gets in. That's too many. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and leave? Awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, okay? We done went through an energetic upgrade. It's a death to the old us and a rebirth to the new us. Motherfuckers better get used to it. Real talk. You can't get used to this new energy. Get the fuck on. Get lost, bitch.
Real talk. I don't give a fuck who you is. A new earth. It's, it's happening. Keep holding the vision. It's happening. Keep opening the vid. Keep holding your vision. And then I got star ancestor, hidden secret, lost hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. You have survived this. New solutions and new beginnings. This is the inner earth. So it's like keep holding your visions. It's a lot hidden from you right now, but you need to look at a little deeper with this star ancestor card. And you you gonna survive whatever the fuck you go through because we motherfucking survivors. It's new solutions and new beginnings coming in. New way of doing shit. The courageous peony, multifaceted, unique nature, unique nature. Let yourself be seen, okay? And I'm going to get one more before this message cut off. I feel like I want to get one of these. That's more than one. I just want one. Endless opportunities. Fuck you, man. Vulnerability. Don't be vulnerable, okay? Don't question why. You got endless opportunities coming in. I don't know why I feel like I want to take one more. For this endless opportunities. Let's see what we get. If anything, because if don't, nothing pop. Satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. Be satisfied with yourself. Other motherfuckers can't define you. Okay? And when motherfuckers see that self-love, that's when they gonna come in, wanna love and respect your ass. You value everyone's unique perspective or the path of love. Okay? And that's the message. If you like this message, like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'm Empress Eda, Intuitive Messenger. Thanks for spending time with me.